Soup Imaginators, Toy Insanity here with your daily dose of toys. Now, if you're like me, you've been waiting about two years for Series 13 Imagine X figures to drop. Well, it ain't happening. But, it, but these snuck out there on the market under my radar somehow at some point. These are called the 20th Anniversary Set. They don't say that anywhere on them, but that's what the eBayers are calling them. Republica Argentina. Did I get these from Argentina? I don't think so. But it's a set of six, came out in 2020, so that means Imaginex started in the year 2000. Okay, okay, here we go, here we go. Look at this, look at this. 20th, well it says, you know, 20 Imaginex, so there's something indicating 20th anniversary. Uh, these all say they're designed by Jordan Gibson. Shout out to Jordan Gibson. Why didn't you let me know these were out? Why have I never seen them at a store? And why did you let me pay so much for them on eBay? Anyway. It's, it's done and dusted, the money's spent. Yeah, so it looks like you get a pirate and a ghost pirate. You see he's in the background uh, there. And he's in the background. You, you can tell. That's a pairing. And then we get an astronaut and a android. Same. And then you get a good night and a bad night. Well, I have a bad night every time I don't know there's new Imaginex out. Anyway, so they come in these cute little packs. This is Black Bellows. And he's up against Shackles McMady. Alright, this is uh, Jet Cosmo Blast. And his arch nemesis is none other than Fisher Price 636. Man, these are weird. Hey, hey, listen. If you're out there watching this video and you know what stores these came to, let me know. I mean, even 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 if they're not in that store anymore, let me know. Because I have an insatiable quest for curious notions and natures of my being, and I want to know. Sir Mesalot up against Helm... Helmivel. Helmivel. I don't know. They're cute. Okay, I'm going to take them out. I'm going to cut them out like this with a blade so I can keep... The cool artwork on the front. I like the idea, you know, like, wh who got these? What retailer got these? And are they making more? At the very least, uh, Fisher Price, Mattel, Imaginix. Could we put out like six of these every year? Alright, thumbs up, BRB. Alright, hey, hey, thanks for the thumbs up. Okay, it's the usual, you know, goodness you expect. You've come to expect no love and anticipate from Imaginex. I just never knew. I, I obviously never saw them on retail. I never knew they existed. Do I saw them on eBay. Well, he has some stray glue in his pants. Uh, but you know, this is Black Bellows of the Pirate. And the... Uh, Tricorn hat, even even the hat, including his hair, is not removable. So it's glued on tight, which makes the articulation in the neck, you know, null and void, ineffective, ineffectual, uh, not, not not able. But we 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 get all the typical pirate accoutrements: the tricorn hat, the hook hand, the eye patch, and the swashbuckling sword. Black bellows. Not a lot of paint going on, but uh, I don't know. You get a cool image here. Black bellows. Well, I didn't even know their number. He's number five in the set. He's up against number six, Shackles McMady. If you look at this ghost pirate here, they're showing, they're showing that his uh, boots should have been painted, not painted, virtually nothing painted. And, you know, if you think about the articulation on these, you know, since there's no elbow, there's no distinction between the elbow and the, the upper arm. See how he's got his arm real bent, and this is clearly on his wrist. You know, well, the, but my point is, this uh, shackle takes up his entire arm. I mean, what are you going to do? He got a tricorn hat, not removable. One meager paint app is more like tampography for the eyes. <sighs> Susan sending some black helicopters above me again. All right, that's life. Yeah, he certainly seems like he'd glow in the dark, though. I'll admit, I didn't test it. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, let's look at number one. 
a jet cosmoblast. So maybe in space, no one knows you're insane. But now this, you would think for sure, well, Toy Insanity, that's definitely removable. No. No, no, no. Helmets, not removable. Nothing's removable. So you got that nice Soviet orange. And some buttons. And the, uh, yeah. Control is air intake. But, and then and, and this is a very milky white looking <clears throat> weapon, I guess. So, not, not a lot going on, but still charming charming bright colors and cute okay and he's up against fp uh, 639 maybe that means it's the 639th imaginous figure ever made but he's a, a barefoot android and he's got three colors tempography here freaky deaky eyes and this enormous weapon have we seen this weapon before with any of the astronauts and aliens released in the in the last 20 years Probably, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say definitely probably. But uh, you know, I like his green. It's one of my favorite greens. And uh, yeah, great balance there. I didn't, I didn't know if he'd be able to hold that weapon horizontally. But he doing good. Uh, well, until I, until I ran into it. Okay, okay. Everybody's good. Everybody's. Take a deep breath. We're all here. Okay. Let's look at our knights. Sir Mesalot number three. Take a mace to your face. Okay, so we got this big bad mace weapon. But look, he's got a, um, you know, like a police badge. He's got as much of a Robocop vibe as he does, you know, a knight in shining armor vibe. Again, nothing removable though. Nothing. For some, for some reason, uh, holding this guy, when I took him out of the pack, I was reminded to remind. Imagine X. Make a Statue of Liberty, man. It's, a, it's the number one thing I want in life. Is an Imagine X Statue of Liberty. It's public domain, and the public demands it. And you know what? It would be a bestseller. Playmobil did one. Lego did one. I want an Imagine X Statue of Liberty. So bad. So bad. With the cute little Imagine X sort of face, and the same size and scale, coloration. Man. Anyway, that's my piece, that's my rant about the SOL and my my uh, my wish to have one in my lifetime. Helmville or Helm Evil number four. And I feel like we've seen some of the parts here with the DC line, but it's definitely constructed as to not be removable. Okay. One little bitty bit of paint made in China on the sward. And what's he doing to Mace face, he's basically like, ah, oh, you can't defeat me, get away from my castle. He's the only one of these with a cape, and it is indeed a fabric cape. He very very skinny legs. No armor at all, really. Just a cape. What is he reminding me of? Dr. Fate? He's reminding me of something from DC or something else. I don't even know. But uh, you know, I got him. I got him on eBay. Imagine next, listen, Fisher Price, you couldn't keep them from me, okay? I will pay the secondary market markup if I have to. I don't like it, don't appreciate it, don't enjoy it. I would like to have found these in person, in field, at retail for the appropriate retail price. But you know what? At the end of the day, you're trying to keep stuff from me. You're trying to keep your product hidden. And it just doesn't work. I found out about them. I found them, and I acquired them. I own them. Okay, there's no debating that. 20th Entity owns the full set of the 20th anniversary little, 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 little Imagine X bangers. Okay, my favorite is, I'm going to say this guy. I love that green, and I love, I, you, if you know anything about me, you probably expect me to say that, dude. But this one has more paint. He, he, uh, ignites more curiosity in me. This guy's an enigma. What is going on? Why is he barefoot? Who makes a robot with human feet and doesn't even put shoes on him? If I was making a robot, I'd just give him some clunky clunky kind of, kind of things that they don't, don't look like individual bone toes. But I will go with him, number two. 
Because I like translucent plastic. I mean, they, dude, they didn't even paint his shoes. They didn't paint his boots. They didn't paint anything on them. And I ain't got time to customize stuff. And it's not like I have an extra set to mess around with with some spare paint. And then I go with him. So I think I probably just picked the three bad guys. It's starting to rain. And then I'll go with him. Okay. And then him. And then this is the weakest. I'm Toy Sanity. Thumbs up. Goodbye.